Hey folks, Liberty Rogue Outdoors here. Um, well, I've been tagged by Justin at, uh, look Justin, you got me. And you're not the only one to tag me, so this is going to be a two-tag session. You've got 11 questions. I'm out here today with my new Osage Bamboo Handmade Bow, doing a little practicing, so... Mama's going to ask me the question. She's filming me, and her name is Billy Joe, folks. So uh, give her a thumbs up. Well, let's get this thing over with. I've got you that tagged me, and Carolina Chris tagged me a while back. So I'm going to do them both right now. Let's hit it. What's the first question? Do you prefer to go on a trip alone or in a group? I like going in a... I like both. It depends on the situation. Um, of course, being a Marine, did a lot of things on my own, but we did a lot of things in groups. And doing what I did, it was small <coughs> groups. So, uh, I don't know. Think about it. Depends. Um, I like both, and yeah, I think that's a satisfactory answer to that, Billy Joe. Okay, second question. What has been your most challenging trip or hike to date? Well, other than the Marine Corps, which I guess for the audience that might not count, which by far, by far, hands down, most difficult. Uh, yes, I was on season four of Alone. Um, unfortunately, that trip was cut short. My son dealt with the bears. Um, so for him, that was probably the most scariest, maybe not the most difficult. But I'm proud of him regardless. And... Uh, yeah, I've had many journeys in my life, so um, I guess my best answer for that is stay tuned and we'll find out. Life goes on. Every day is a new adventure. Okay, number three. What has been the most beautiful and sleeping place so far? Under the stars, by far, is the best. Anywhere. Don't care where it is. Lay me right on the ground under the stars. I'm a happy camper. Number four. What winter activities do you do? Obviously, I do this pretty much every day. Um, <coughs> living in the state of Maine, a lot of ice fishing, uh, snowshoeing, uh, hunting. Yes, November comes hunting season. Um, fortunately, I don't know, winter seems to get further away. So we're starting to get snow end of November, December, when I was a kid, we used to get it in October, but uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff to do, just get outside and, and find something to keep you busy, and so you don't get that cabin fever. Okay, number five, have you ever been seriously hurt in the outdoors? Are you kidding? Of course, I mean, look at, look, I used to like to hit my face off people's fists back in the day, but uh, yes, I have. Many bumps, bruises, scars, broken bones, starved. Um, yeah, that comes with the territory. I mean, if you're an armchair weekend guy that goes out and has fun, that's one thing. But uh, if, if you walk the walk and you talk the talk, it's inevitable, folks. Number six. Do you practice any special surviving techniques? Absolutely. Every day. Um, basically, the uh, best answer for that would be, I think that the ability to make fire is very important in any situation. Um, through history, we found that uh, fire is a comforting, it's a comforting factor in uh, survival. Uh, mentally, morally, and physically, it, uh, it soothes the body and the mind. Number seven, what do you think about having a permanent bushcraft camp? Permanent bushcraft camp, let's see. Well, then again, this goes back to my military years. Um, if it's a survival situation, I don't believe a permanent bushcraft camp is the, is the key. Um, if you can make multiple camps, make a base camp, recon the area, 
find uh, better edibles, better hunting area, build a shelter there. Move on, find another area that offers you something better, uh, better water, um, and so on. I, I, myself personally in the past, which we're not going to get into that, um, survived for quite a while, but I made multiple camps and moved around. It's a change of scenery. The mind is the key. Number eight. What is your favorite recipe for cooking outside? Oh, you better look at that deer. That's my favorite. That's my favorite food outside. We got how many questions left? Three. I've yeah. got three arrows left. I brought out 11 arrows for this question. Yes, venison by far is my favorite. I mean, if, if I can have it while I'm out there, I will. But really, when you get down to the bottom line, it's whatever you can. Whatever you can find, whatever you can consume to keep going and thrive. Number nine, how do you motivate yourself in bad weather? Um, well, I mean, if uh, you're like the average Joe and it's winter time and you're stuck in the house or whatever, you've got to come up with ideas. But if you're surviving in a bushcraft survival situation, it's kind of the same thing. Um, you definitely want a good shelter. Gives you time to reflect on your actions and make a plan. And we always had a saying, uh, you know, what's, what happens when the shit hits the fan? What's the first thing to go? The plan, man. That's the first thing to go. Number 10. What would you be, what would be your dream destination? I know mine. What's yours, dear? Nice warm island. <laughs> well, yes, I, I, I agree. So, uh, yeah, well, dream destination. Anywhere outside, that's good. I can't give you a single one. Valhalla, in the end, I guess would be appropriate. Um, but, yeah, anywhere outside. Love nature and... Uh, Nature's what it's all about. Is that the last question? No. It's not? We got one more. Uh-oh. What do we got? Number 11. What is your heaviest piece of equipment? Well, I'll tell you. This goes way back. The best way for me to answer that is your body. That is your heaviest piece of equipment. Your body and your, your thoughts. Those weigh upon you very heavily in stressful survival situations. Um, we had a saying in the Marines, our arms are heavy and our bellies are tight. We had that saying for a reason. So, uh, yeah, really, that's probably my heaviest. Um, you can deal with the equipment. Everybody brings equipment, you know, backpack, whatever. But really, it comes down to you. So uh, be true to yourself because the self is the self's only friend and never give up. At the last one, let me yeah. see if I can finish off old Lucky Bucky here. All 11 of them. <laughs> All right, folks. Justin, I hope that, I hope that uh, suffices. Um, yeah, I kind of did it a little quick, but my, my answers are honest. I'm um, pressed for a lot of time, folks. I'm pressed for my time, folks, because uh, got this Bushcraft Expo coming up at the very end of April. Got a lot to do. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Look forward to it. Look forward to seeing Kevin, all you guys down there, and uh, going to have fun. Um, with that said, I've got one more tag to deal with, and that's Carolina Chris, old Texas Petey. All right. Tell you what, I'll be right back. So, Chris. You tagged me, buddy. It's taking me a while, but uh, I'm getting around to it. Sorry it took so long, my friend. So, five bushcraft, my five favorite bushcraft items. I'm going to be a little creative here because everybody seems to do the same stuff. So everybody seems to do the same stuff, so uh, I gave it a a lot of thought. I'm going to give you my answers. 
Well, I can tell you this, Chris. It's not one of these. It's not one of these. It's not a Ferris one. Five favorite things. Number one out of the five. Number two. Earth. Forest. Number four. All I can say is. all her critters. All right, Chris, I hope that satisfied you. Did the best I could on that. Yeah, tried to make it a little different. What is it, Bear? You want to go get him? Who is that? Get him! Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in. What one man can do, another can do sometimes. Booyaka. And, uh, hey, it's all about attitude. So enjoy it. Get outside. Thank you, Mama, for standing and out. Thank you, Mama Billy Joe, for helping me out. Booyaka. Catch you all later, folks. Thank you. Oh, by the way, Carolina Chris, Kevin's Adventures, Brandon, Triumph Screen Printing, you guys are tagged for the 11 questions. Um, I will post that in the description below. Booyaka. Kevin, Brandon, and Bro Cephas. I want to know what your five best bushcraft items are. Better get on it when you got time. Booyaka. Come on, Bear.